Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to work on another automation approach and this is going to be done with Java. So in this problem, uh, in this uh, automation thing, what we are going to do is we are going to find out the internet speed uh, through our provider uh, by downloading a file using Java. So this is the code that, that I have written and I have a demo file here which is of 100 MB so once it's get downloaded I can see like uh, what was the MB per second speed that I got after downloading this 100 MB file right so I'll explain each and everything uh, by writing each and everything down from the scratch so before we start on that note if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and let's jump back to the video so as this is as this is a 100 MB file and the net speed that I'm getting is in Mbps not in Gbps so it's it is going to take some time so I'm going to stop this and I'll run the code once I have written everything down from the scratch so what I am going to do is I'm going to create a maven project from scratch so that I can show you each and every step so what you have to do is you just have to create a maven project and I'll explain why we need a maven project because we need a dependency and it's always good to download the dependency from maven central and not from uh, you know the download button because it's not always safe so I'll just do com dot automation and I'll do net okay now I'll click on finish okay I forgot to delete it uh, from so I'll just do net automation or speed auto automation so let's just do internet okay so it will take some time but I'll just click on pom.xml so what dependency we are going to use is we are going to use JSP text so this dependency is uh, a really good dependency because it gives us uh, gives us few methods which through which we can see the progress see the errors or see the download speed so those are the methods that we are going to use uh, in this dependency in this video so i'm just going to copy it here okay so save it so it is going to download the dependency in the meanwhile i'm going to create a main class this so when we um, when we have a dependency so the first thing that we have to use is we have to create an object right because that's external so what I will do is first I will create an object of method speed test socket so this is uh, this is the only class that we have to use and this is a really important one I'll just name it as TS new okay so now this class um, has few listeners on it so we just have to add one listener which is going to be this one I guess there is only one listener here so then I'm going to create an instance of uh, inner class I speed test listener so when I do this I get few methods already uh, written for me um, like comes by default not written so we don't have to use all of them like you don't need on error and on progress so I am not going to write anything here but it's mandatory to override them so I cannot delete them 
I just need on completion but I'll show you how we can see the progress also like you were seeing here so let me write sys out here so this is going to just give out the progress like how much percentage it has already downloaded so it's really simple you can already see a percent variable here right so we can use that so i'll just do percent right and then i'll just add percentage symbol here for sophistication and here what we need is we need to get the completion from report so to do that there is one method so but we again need uh, the speed in mbps and this gives out speed in bit per second right so we need to convert that so i'm going to use bit decimal here to do that conversion you can use double also so first i'll get the speed in bit per second now i'm going to convert this so if you don't know the conversion uh, you will see here right so here um, again so big decimal comes with a lot of advantages and the only advantage that i can tell you as of now is precision and accuracy so it's it's really a good class to use because uh, with double we don't get that much precision always so we need six zeros here right so that's our conversion okay so we just need to hold this into a variable so i'll just do a speed mbps right so now i have the speed now i just have to print this out so i'll just do this out then I'll just write MPPS okay, for sophistication and that's it that's it what we have to write but we are missing one thing yeah, the important part is that we don't have the we uh, the uh, file that we have to download right so that comes here so I'm just going to provide uh, sorry we need STS dot start download so here I'm going to provide the URL so you can use uh, any website that you want there are a lot of website which gives us test files and they come in all sizes so I chose 100 MB because 1 KB or 1 MB is not a good size to test but like uh, there is no limit to it you can e even use 10 GB right but I will show you one example with 100 MB so I'll just paste the URL here and I'll run this and wait for it to get completed. Okay, so as you can see, it got downloaded and this is the speed that I'm getting <laughs> and that's the reason that uh, this file got downloaded a bit late so I made a video uh, to get the internet speed through Python before and this is using Java so um, they both have their own advantages and disadvantages but if you want to find the speed you can do it from either programming language so that is it for this video and i hope the explanation was clear if not you can write that down in the comment section and i will meet you in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye